Mm. It's the morning camp. Just woken up, slip next to the water in case we've got any uh, trolls coming over from the Greg Goucher 15 year old virgin club. This is the Spalding War Memorial. It's time to hit the road. Jack. It's the morning time. It's day, it's day three. Beautiful borough. It's turn on the sunshine for us. Still about three degrees. We're gonna roll into the supermarket and get some fruit. This is the IGA in Borough and it opens 8.30, seven days a week. And I'll show you the exact open times. This is Borough, nice little town here. Let's walk out the main street, shall we? It's a beautiful sunny morning, very, very cold. Got to put the long gloves on in a sec. Very quiet, Aussie, South Australian town. And uh, yeah, Borough postcode 5417, the post office there. Here we go. That's the open time. This girl works in here as well. Got some spaghetti. Cream, cream corn is better because it's got more carbs per tin. And we've got pineapple and sugar. We've got water as well. 10 litres, say plastic. We can split it up. And I've got, still got some, uh, some sugar. We've got the guys getting some sugar as well. We sort of take turns and get water and sugar. Split it up. Give it carb, baby. When you're on tour, the number one thing is going to be your water and your sugar and your sleep. It's just you're micromanaging your water, sugar, sleep all the time. So if you feel drowsy during the day, don't have a caffeine pill. Have a quick power nap, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and just charge your eyes up. You know, drink before you're thirsty, cook sugar before you're hungry, carb before you're hungry, right? So you have that mix of uh, sweet sugars and starchy sugars, and you be charging. You'll be charging all day and night. Right? Then you get that sleep when you need it, boom. Do so you have sleep? If you have set sleeping times on tour, um, you know, that can that can sort of go against you know in a bike packing race because you you don't sleep when you need to, and then when you sleep when you don't need you're resting when you don't need to. You know, so if you really need to rest, get the rest. All right? Don't pop another pill, pop a sleep, and then when you do pop your little stim pill, it'll work a lot better. You got better focus and be safer out there. Okay, you don't want to be tired in the road. Rest, 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 rest. Get a nap when you need it. Okay, then go safe. The road again, Barra, nice cool day for it. Sun is the uh, sunny and cold. This is a emphasis this week. Morsel Trail. Eat, sleep, ride, repeat. Stay hydrated. Puncture with the parish. His uh, sealant was licking out. We're on top of this hill, quite windy for the noise, but it's very beautiful. Very beautiful. This is the house in the Midnight Oil album cover. Album cover. That's right. What was it called again? I forget. What was the name of this Midnight Oil album cover? No, I don't know. Let's go have a close look at it. They did. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this Midnight Oil house. Damn. Damn. Look at this stuff. This trespass is prosecuted, so we won't spend too long in here. Jeez, be careful. Wow, there's a lot of bird shit in here. Wow, this is full of bird dung. Pay the rent, Kieran. Wow, this is epic. So we had Duchesne be jabbing himself in the corner. Me and Greg Duche get on a live stream and have a head-to-head -head debate. Give you a thumbs up. If you don't want to see that, give you a thumbs down. I'd love to get on the live. I think you yeah, know it'd be great. Me and uh, Duche, we could do a running race or whatever, bench press competition. Who could win that? If Greg could last 20 seconds with me in a, a running race, then he'd be doing pretty good. And we're the same age. But let's do a live stream sometime. The live stream debate in the mid in the mid midnight oil house. This is epic. Yeah, this is the house, gang. This is the house. Midnight or no trolling here. This is legit. So I was that bike. 
Yeah. Diesel and dust, there we go. Parish the Encyclopedia on Reels. Diesel and dust. Doing the Mawson in. Is, uh, it's pretty casual. We're getting some good, good coverage. Let's open this gate up here. But we're stopping and seeing, really seeing the Mawson. I think if you really want to see it, maybe do 70 k today. Take time. Mock to Conservation Park. Oh, it's pretty beautiful out here. Air quality. Little rocks we got around here. This is a native grassland. 90% of Australia's grassland is gone. And that is because of grazing. So 90% of Australia's native grassland is gone. So this is very, this looks like a sort of an average paddock, but this is all native grasses, which you don't really get anywhere else. That's another benefit of the vegan lifestyle is, you know, this is, this is, a, this is really rare. This is like a native grassland here. So it, it does look like pasture, but there's no, there's no cows in here. It's just kangaroos. Crazy. Look at this, this is pretty epic. You've got mountains over here. And I'll zoom in a bit to see and watch it flatten right off. Look at that. That is the inland ocean of South Australia. There's a big beach there and parties and no, it's not, is there? That's actually flat land. We'll head right into that. Beautiful out here. Just can't stress enough the Mawson Trail. Can't believe it's like taking me so long to do it. Sad again. Mawson Trail put on the bucket list. It's an incredible place. It's so quiet. There's hardly any traffic. It's a great place to self-reflect. There's a lot of nature out here. Some kangaroos, foxes, sheep, you know, owls, eagles. The air quality, I mean, wow, it's amazing. It's really just this is beautiful. I'm so glad I'm doing this. Oh, beautiful man. And see the road is this sort this sort of stuff. It's just gravelly, rocky, 42 mil tires at minimum, I reckon. The guys do get a bit of time on, me on the descents. A bit blasted while I'm just taking an easy bit. But I'll stop for the view as well. It's beautiful. Straight away, you can see straight away the change in landscape. We've just left a farming area. Now we're getting more into the nature. There's more bird call. And there's less, less sheep, less grazing. Fantastic. Which is part of the Mawson. I'm off my chops. This is in Mount Bryant. Just near Mount Bryant, I'm just this is surreal for me that it's like this. It's like I've just left winter and gone into summer, it's a lot warmer. It's magic. So, yeah, it's a Winchester 223, that's a CV name for it. But when, when I was in SWAT, we call it 556. It'll take you out, it's the top of the hill there, 500 range, aim a little bit higher, get your target. <laughs> Done, being like three, three, or three. recon or something, yeah. yeah. When I was a SWAT, we used to do that as well. <laughs> Boons coming handy. That was racy. That's not rear end will be pretty thin, though. Another tip be... is you ever see a can out there, always crush it because animals get their head stuck in there trying to lick it out. And also these pull rings as well. You get like snakes get caught in here. So that's what I do every time, even at home. Push that in, chuck it on the ground, crush it here, crush it there. And then, boom. and then that's why ants can get in there, clean it out. Spider can use that for housing, but you're not going to get no snake or marsupial. Get a little schnoz caught in there. And it's also easier for recycling, more compact. So crush your cans, people. So we've got all leave issue here. This is the zip. So what happened? A bit of plastic got caught in the yeah. in that and just took it off. That's fucked. I'm gonna ring up. Ring up Ortlieb now. I know the guy who distributed with him. Oh, yeah. So, uh, that's the Ortlieb. Should have gone to Rock Bros. We sort of got it going a little bit. Ortlieb. Don't do that because. For sure. Right, I mean. We are on the Mawson Trail 
And this is this is starting to get rocky now. We're um, <laughs> we're just after Mount Bryant. The Mount Bryant, Mount Bryant, mm -hmm. and it's starting to get rocky. And uh, this is where the mountain bike is definitely going to become a bit handy. I would say this 42 point tires are they're fine, but 47 would be better, or even the 50. And the Pagan Morrison does handle 50. These are a specialized tire, the specialized Pathfinder. They only come in 42, they're a great tire, I rate them, but it would be great if they had a 47. It's a little bit better, but specialized gravel bikes don't take a 47 yet. Maybe next year they will. <laughs> in the meantime, though, if you've got a 50 mil tire, check out the Pan Racer Gravel King SK Plus. But if you're happy with 42, the specialized Pathfinder, perfect. This road's called Dust Hole Creek Road, and uh, the dust, not too much dust actually. In summertime, wow, it'll be dry out here. It's the middle of winter, and you sort of see how sparse it is in terms of vegetation. A few saltbush trees, it's uh, pretty epic. So you see the erosion, hear the sheep, all the erosion just, they just chewed it away. It's quite a lot of erosion. Makes you wash it into the river, silts it up, kills a native fish. Go begging for the win. So day three, I think this today. Day three, day three is a lot of climbing for the nature. For uh, Dusty, Dusty Douglas. Right, so here we're out in the Mawson Trail. We ran out of food, we're going to see a bit of bush survival here. So we've made a tool here, etched out of wood. It's called a Leatherman, and uh, opens up like, um... let's come over here. There's you. no leather on it, bro. There's no leather on it, it's vegan. So this is a, this is a paddy melon. It's what we eat in our R&D test, so... It uh, starts off as all those little gooseberry things. Rolls down the hill, so very, very sweet, very high, very high sugar content. Brush off a bit of dust, got a bit of sheep dung on it. You know, get any spores out here. So it wants to look like Spock. <laughs> kind of vegan. And we're just going to pop them open. Might have used the knife aspect of this one. And uh, yeah, pat patty melon, these will keep you going. It's so high in nutrition. It's a whole food. It's a whole food. One of these will keep you going for like at least I mean, a long time. You know, hours. And we, we just seen Dr. Gregor right up the hill there at 400 watts. Whole foods diet will get you. Whole foods diet will help you in this situation massively. All you should eat is whole foods, never have refined foods. Just stay away from the three whites. Sugar, flour, rice. and rice. Yeah, here we go there. Look at that, whole foods. Just bite into it, crunch it into it. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's, why my face is wincing, it's just nutrition in there. Whole foods, mate. Mm. Example there, you got arid versus bush. It's just a fence. Got one's got livestock and the other doesn't. Pretty, pretty clear example there. Erosion city. This looks like a big goanna, a big goanna, massive, massive goanna, which is a big lizard. Could be anywhere around here. Could be anywhere. Keep moving. They're aggressive. Take your nuts out. This this is Hallett. It has a little general store over here. Fuel for drinks. Awesome. Open? No. Anything open around here? No, so this is the open times. Oh. I've missed it. What day is it today? Thursday? Thursday, so 4 p.m. So I just missed it. What's the bit of bread, a bit of tofurkey still left, so get that in you. Bit of sauce as well. Beggars can't be choosers, it's all carbohydrate. <laughs> Want a trip, bro? <laughs> morning, wintry morning. Here we are. Oh, let's kind of flip that around. This is in 
Spalding has a little store opens in the morning. Not even much. We've got a pub you can get food from. We got chips last night. But uh, yeah, let's oh, check out this sign. It's really beautiful. Winter here. <sighs> Cold breath. It's an old school sign. Not many of these are left in Australia. Uru Crystal Brook, Peterborough, Jamestown. And that's the general store just there. Little store. What time I open till? Open at Monday to Friday. I'm Jam. Ginger beer. Always start a day with a good beer. Essential. There's a bundle here. Channel Linear Park. <sighs> Beautiful day. Layering, it's warming up. Sun's out, gun's out. And there's a lot of crossings like this. So be careful when you cross the road. Always, you know, obviously checking for cars and traffic. Little Mawson sign up here. Make sure your lights are charged. Make sure your lights are charged. So you just be paying attention always. I was, because these are getting the la la land, the Mawson chart, not much traffic. And then come across here and uh, boom. So just pay attention out there. Have enough carbohydrates, have enough water, and have enough rest. And just always pay attention. Heads up, stay safe. Glide to return. This is the Wilkins homestead. It's amazing out here, it's good we sort of, we can normally ride together, sometimes we just sort of split up on the road and you're sort of alone with your thoughts. It's good to reflect on a great day out. That's no, good. It's better to ride with inside of each other in case one gets a flat or it's an issue. But uh, we've been like 100 meters apart, we still hear each other. We need to be and get a solo time. Solo time touring is really important. It's clear the thoughts. And it's sort of like a reset button on life, you know. You just get to think of what's important in your life and what's not. Otherwise, it's easy to get caught up in that chatter of the rat race. So I definitely encourage people to go and do some bike touring. Or hiking, or it's time in nature. Makes you think differently. Carved up, hydrated, fresh air. Can't beat it. Parish is uh, down in the down the drain. I love this is built in 1898. Yeah. Serious? 1898. Yeah. That's insane. <sighs> Not many bridges. This bridge is near Bundalir. Beautiful day again. We have, we've been spoiled. Really been spoiled for weather this trip. It's amazing. Amazing. Nice little climbers out back at Bundalir. We used to have cross country races here about 20 years ago, literally in 2000. We were racing the Cannondale, and this course is pretty surreal. Come back here, Bundalir, beautiful. Imagine building those stone walls. Yeah. That's hard yak at work. Yeah, a lot of birds fly through there. Yeah, some nice gully, a lot of falcons through here. Stone wall, done the test of time. Many a gate here. It's many a gate. We're in the uh, Bundalier Forest here. Beautiful place. It's the air quality. So what? Same thing. Air quality great.
little Kelpie dog was uh, very friendly this minute ago. And she's walking off, pulled the camera out, she's like, no, I'm out of here. This is Laura, beautiful place. You got a, got a um, grandstand camping on that, sleep on that, it's raining. Beautiful, nice big oval. What a ripper day. Incredible day here out in LV land. It is amazing. It's winter. Far out. It's beautiful. I feel, like North, I feel like I'm in Queensland right now. This is sort of date today, July 16th. It's beautiful weather. This is a uh, trapdoor spider. Can you see where it is? We have, uh, I'll use this little stick. This little stick should be alright. This is a little trapdoor here. Get a stronger stick. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Look at that. So it's a trap little spot. Night time they come out, they put their little legs just there. Any little insect, anything that walks past, bang. They get it. The IGA in Laura, and uh, that's the open hours there. So seven days a week. Beautiful town, Laura. Big wide streets. Day, it's day four. It's getting cold again. And uh, we're gonna set up camp here, Laura, I think. But uh, it's been a cracker day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, thumb it down. Mawson Trail, Sridgy Ditch. Old supermarket, this one in Laura. It's uh, throughout the islands. Old school wooden floors. Cracker, got some good range here. We've got some vegan fruit trucks. Spaghetti, 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 fruit and uh, some white bread. It's starting to look like uh, they're actually getting rid of the dust is eating in there. It's good, good to see. Tires have been fantastic. No hassles there. Bike bag dude stuff's going strong. So is the rock bros. Sleeping mat. A bit worse for wear, but done its job, doing its job. The cat's been biting into that. The what? That bike's quite helpful right there. <laughs> this is Laura. It's getting steamy and cold. It's beautiful.